What's up guys, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade from the OEM needle bearing style trunnions to an aftermarket bushing style. So this is what your OEM rocker arm looks like with the OEM trunnion. It's a pressed in fitting. And the problem with this OEM style is it has these needle bearings. And I'm gonna pull this inside sleeve out. And if you ever have anything come loose, you have all these bearings that have the potential of falling out into your motor. So we're upgrading to the CHE Precision Trunnions. These are a bushing style, style trunnion that has a lock ring on the outside. And there's no needles or anything like that inside of these that can fall out and damage the motor. We're doing this as part of a DOD or AFM delete for my 2014 Silverado. And if you guys wanna watch that video series, you can do so at the link above. So here is one of the new trunnions that we're gonna be installing. These have two bearings that slide on either end. Like so. And then you have snap rings that install on the end of the trunnion and lock the bearing in place. First, you need to remove the OEM trunnion. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to take a couple sockets. I'm using a 21 millimeter and a half inch. And you wanna put the 21 millimeter socket or whichever larger socket you're using on the side that he has these flat parts next to the trunnion. If you flip this around, you'll notice it's just a round edge over here. And this is the side you wanna press out towards. So we're gonna put our large socket on this side. And then on the other side, you wanna pick a socket that is gonna fit inside the rocker arm and push the trunnion out. So we have our trunnion mocked up here. Now you wanna have a bucket or something underneath to catch the trunnion when it falls because those needle bearings like to go everywhere. And when you put your sockets on, just make sure that the larger socket is completely around the trunnion so that you don't catch that as you tighten down the vise and the smaller socket is dead center of the trunnion you're pushing out. And you wanna see it start pressing out pretty early on. If it's not, you probably have one of your sockets slightly misaligned, so stop, loosen it up, realign the sockets, and then try again. So the issue with this style of trunnion is that at higher RPMs, this inner casing that holds those needle bearings in place can walk and allow these needle bearings to be released inside of your motor, which will definitely make you have a bad day. So while we're in there doing all this work, it's definitely a good idea to upgrade these. Now that you have your bearings pushed out, you wanna go ahead and make sure that your surface in here is smooth. Now, CHG Engineering recommends taking some Scotch-Brite or very fine sandpaper and cleaning out this area. I've decided just to be safe, I'm gonna go along with my finger, and if I feel any burrs, I'm then gonna take it. If you don't feel anything, you should be good. Now we're gonna take our new trunnion, and I've already pre-cleaned all of these trunnions uh, soaking them in mineral spirits and then soaking them in motor oil. So just wiping them down now to make sure they haven't picked up any contaminants. So we're gonna set the trunnion down flat, then we're gonna take our bearing. These were also cleaned and soaked. And now I'm gonna dip this in fresh motor oil per their instructions. Slip that onto the trunnion. Now you're gonna take a set of snap ring pliers such as this, and we'll have a link to these in the description and take one of your snap rings. Now you wanna be careful not to over expand it. You just wanna open it just far enough. And you also don't wanna have the needles of the snap ring pliers sticking too far through. So you basically wanna have them flush, so doing it on a hard surface is perfect. And then you're just gonna open it just far enough and snap that around the trunnion. Now we can take our rocker arm and stick the trunnion inside. And we're gonna flip this over. Flip it in place. And pop that on place. Now, I'm just a little bit OCD, so I'm lining up all my snap rings with the logo so that it's at the bottom, but you could obviously do that however you want. It does, the orientation of the snap ring does not matter.
So as we mentioned earlier, the Trunnion upgrade that we just did is part of the overall engine rebuild that I'm doing to delete the DOD or AFM system from my 2014 Silverado. And if you guys wanna know how to do that, we will have a link to the whole video series where we are disassembling and rebuilding this motor down in the description. If you guys have any comments or questions about this Trunnion upgrade, please let us know and we will have links to the parts and tools used in this video down below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you here in the next video.